At a height of 60 to 100 kilometers above the Earth, the ionized area of the upper atmosphere, also called ionosphere, is located. Due to exposure of solar ultraviolet radiation, an electric potential charge or ionization emerges in the ionosphere. That is, the ionization depends on the activity of solar radiation. In relation to radio waves, the ionosphere has the properties of reflection, refraction and attenuation of radio signals. Ionosphere consists of different layers located at different heights. Depending on the angle formed by ionosphere and an emitted signal, there are several radio wave propagation options. Option 1. Radio waves are emitted by radio station vertically upward or at a sufficiently large angle with the horizontal. Such waves are only slightly refracted and go into space. Option 2. Radio waves emission occurs at a small angle with the horizontal. These waves are reflected from the ionosphere and go back to the Earth, though they are attenuated or damped out. When reaching the Earth, they are reflected one more time and go to the ionosphere. In such a way, in discrete steps, a radio wave may pass considerable distances commensurate with the diameter of Earth. That is, radio waves can go around the Earth. In the case of such propagation, there are some areas where the waves just can't get, so the reception of these signals is impossible. Such areas are called dead zones. Moreover, these there might be a situation when distant radio stations are heard perfectly and neighboring ones are not heard at all. Waves emitted at a small angle to, to the horizontal may be reflected from the upper atmosphere, then reflected by the lower atmosphere, then reflected from the upper atmosphere again. The process lasts until they are not reflected from the lower layers of the ionosphere. In this case, the propagation of radio waves has practically zero losses. This mechanism is called bounce propagation of radio waves. In case of bounce propagation, the signal attenuation is minimal. However, due to the fact that the boundary of the upper and lower layers of the ionosphere is not a constant value, the locations of dead zones and zones of reliable reception constantly change.